What's up guys? This is Ken from Ken's How To's and Reviews. Uh, today we are going to do a short brief video on a product called Radon Eye. And this is a uh, device I purchased off of Amazon. It's the RD200. Um, and I wanted to give a just short little review of what uh, Radon is and how this can help you uh, in your own home. So um, just briefly, um, I was unaware of what radon was in your household. Um, in order to purchase real estate in the state of Alabama, it is not required to have a radon test uh, to close on a home, but at the option of the seller or the buyer, you can have one if you'd like. Um, so radon is a colorless, odorless, uh, and tasteless noble gas, um, and it is a byproduct of the decay of uranium and thorium, which are the two most common radioactive materials on Earth. Um, and the importance of radon or detecting radon in your, in your home is that um, it, it can be deadly. Um, they associate around 21,000 lung cancer deaths from radon each year, and really not a lot of people know about it. I didn't know about it, um, and I'm pretty with it with current events and uh, things like this. So um, this little device just plugs into the wall. Um, according to Radon Eye, this is a very um, professional sensor. So <clears throat> this sensor plugs into the wall uh, and it takes a reading every 10 minutes for an hour and gets you a baseline for um, your Radon levels. So um, it comes with an app you hit your device list, you turn on your Bluetooth, and it connects. So you see it's connected up here. Uh, I have had some time to gather some data so we can refresh our data. And something that was very interesting is that I think I have found a way to reduce radon in my home without um, having a costly vent put in. So you can see here, you can go through your data, you can save it, and it tells you the threshold according to the EPA of what is safe. So an alarm value is going to be um, that threshold, which I believe is four. Um, yeah, I believe four is considered the EPA safety level. So uh, you can kind of see here on the trend line that, uh, let's see if this will go sideways. Nope. So um, you can see this is where we went on vacation uh, we didn't have any air conditioner going. We had all doors closed, and we are, we're we're maxing out here. This is considered a very unsafe level. Uh, I, th I believe during this duration we got up into the sixes. Um, so constantly, if you're in a six um, range, that is pretty dangerous. So you need to get that taken care of. But um, you can see where we came home from our vacation and the doors were open, AC, vents were going. Um, and I also noticed that when I got home, I turned on our air filters. We have three, um, we have three different air filters in our home and they are air doctors and it's a HEPA filter with an ionizing option. Um, and what I noticed is that these little valleys, um, where when I, it is when I turned on the ionizing option on our HEPA filter. Uh, I know this is very anecdotal, but uh, the proof is kind of in the pudding here with this data. Um, you can see this low valley here. When we were running our HEPA filters, we turned the HEPA filters off, fil this sensor staying in the same place, and it began to rise again. Then you notice uh, we turned the filters back on, ionizing option on, and it began to level out here. Um, the control here is that we just kept this, this sensor in the same place, kept the air conditioner at the same level. Um, you can see some ebb, ebbs and flows, but with the filters running, it kept um, this radon at bay. So. Um, Again, this is anecdotal. I'm not telling you that is a safe option to rid your home of radon. I'm just telling you that's what um, I am currently using and it continues to work for my home. Um, 
Another thing is, is I have tested this um, on another data set that when this sensor is on granite, it picks up a lot more radon than it does if it were sitting on this um, wooden table. So you've got to think uh, granite used to be in the earth's crust and they you know, pulled it out for um, consumer uh, use within your kitchen or bathroom. So it is still an earth material. So just keep that in mind when you're doing these tests that um, it could be a higher reading on um, natural stone. So um, that is the radon eye test and uh, you can pick one up at Amazon and uh, get a, ra a radon reading. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to subscribe and we'll see you next time.